How much can you earn playing Heroes and Empires? Is it profitable? The answer in short is yes. It just depends on what you're playing it for. Are you playing it to become one of the best players in the game? Or are you playing it just merely to make profit and sell that HE on? Today we're going to find out roughly how much can you make playing this game. So, what I did was design a beautiful, beautiful little Excel document. And so initial investment, that's the thing we've got to think about first. How much do you have to in, uh, pay to actually play the game? So 170 HE is recommended by me to get in the game at the very cheapest level. So at a minimum level, buying the most basic characters you can get off the marketplace. What I did was I took Chicken Boma, Caster Minion, the Fairy Dragon, and the Warrior Minion and added up how much that would cost combined with one rare because there's only four commons and that would be a Duran at 81.99 HE. So roughly an initial investment of um, around 170 HE to be able to enter into the game. From there, you can level your characters up using coin, which is a free currency. Now you will need to use HE to level them up past a certain cap. But if you are playing just to be able to get HE and complete these quests and via other ways earn it, um, then you don't have to worry too much about that. You should be able to put some of your HE back into that from the progress because you'll get, you know, random amounts, three HE here, two HE here and there. Um, and you'll also get fragments as you complete some of the chapters in the early days where it's most profitable. But we're going to be working off the very basics. So we have in my chart the daily quests. So there is 30 HE available to be earned in the daily quests. So these will give you 10 once you've completed 40 points worth. And once you get to 80, you'll also earn 20 points worth. In between that, you'll get two rare fragments and a scroll. So scroll you can use in the store to be able to summon a character, but that will cost you 50 HE. We'll talk a bit about whether that's profitable in a minute. But first of all, these quests are very easy to complete. You know, just start a Madness Tower battle, win a campaign battle two times, summon a hero one time, win a Madness battle two times, start an arena battle, win an arena battle three times, level up hero and collect AFK rewards, start a campaign battle. You don't need to complete all of them though, so you can select the ones that you want to do, the easiest ones, AFK um, reward, level up a hero one time, start a campaign battle, that's 40 already. And then you've got win an arena battle, start an arena battle for 10. You've got win two Madness Tower battles, which in the very early stages, it'll be very easy. If you are going from a, a profit and not trying to, you know, level up your characters up loads to be able to battle really well in the arena, then only do your two battles a day minimum of what it says to do on here. Because if you get to a higher certain point, you might not be able to beat them. So summon a hero one time is you can do if you take the option to do that, which again we'll talk about in a minute. Then you've got weekly rewards. So over the course of a week, you should be able to complete enough of these to get to your 80 reward at least. Um, you can get an extra three scrolls and one elixir used for the dungeons. There's one rare fragment and six, uh, one epic fragment and six rare fragments there available in the quests. Um, but these can be completed, so enhanced gear five times, that can be done for free using the coins. Um, summon a hero 20 times a little harder. Complete the first floor of the dungeon three times, that's going to be very hard to complete if you don't level your characters up really high. Complete the third, uh, third floor of the dungeon, again really hard. Purchase items in challenge store, that can be done if you, if you go for the trying to build up epic fragments. Again, we'll look at that in a minute. Purchase items in the clan store, easy to do. Win an arena battle 15 times. So if you battle, uh, you'll probably battle against really weak people and lose and then battle against a, a weak person. Eventually, maybe you'll be able to find somebody that you can beat and get that done over the course of a week. You only have to win um, three times over five days. And win a Madness Tower battle 10 day times, that should be easy enough to do. So if you can do those, you've got 40 there. Purchase items in the store, purchase items in the challenge, you've got 60. And then you just need 20, which you can get from uh, completing the first floor of the dungeon uh, if you, you're strong enough, enhancing gear five times. Uh, if you do take the summon route, summon it 20 times over the course of a week. Um, so with that, you can earn a total of 210 from daily quests over the course of a week. You can win six, nine HE from the three battles that you win. Um, and you can battle for more. You will actually get more than nine 
Um, I'd, I'd said use your progress in HE to pay for the hero upgrades and as well probably use those ones to upgrade your characters past their level uh, cap. And then we've got weekly quests, you'll earn 75 for the course. Um, and then we've got rare fragment heroes. So you will accrue enough to summon one rare fragment hero easy over the course of a week. Best way to do this, and this is through you know, completing your chapters, you'll get shards, and you obviously get them in the daily and weekly rewards. And you can also get them in the dungeon. If you, you only need 240 times three over the course of a week to be able to purchase these 15 fragments. I think once you've got 15 fragments there, you should have enough if you're completing some of the battles to accrue at least one rare pull over the course of a week, which you can then sell um, once you've pulled it. So that'll bring you a 100% chance that it will be a rare, and a rare at the very lower end will go for about 80, but it is a very low ball figure because if you pull Jita, that's 390 at the lowest on the marketplace. It's all about who you pull. Um, you know, other popular ones, if you were to pull a demon mech, you're looking at pulling... Nah, I want a demon mech, please. Demon, demon mech. Thank you. Clock crank. Yeah, you got clock crank. 282 um, HE. These are some of the better characters in the game. Um, so 100 is a very, very low ball figure. And you could earn a lot higher than that when you pull your rare. Eventually, you're going to get a good one if you keep doing it week in, week out. But all that would roughly add up to 448, which at the current price of 66 cents would be $295. Now, 100. 170 HE, you will you will have made your return in your first week, and more. You could have three xed by then. Um, it depends how you use your HE. Whether you get pulled into you know using it for for things like I have. I mean, I've I spent a lot on this game. I've used it for leveling up my characters. I've used it for buying stuff throughout the dungeon. I've used it for um, summons. I've used it for buying extra slots in my and um, my union blessing which allows me to use other characters at the high levels i bought a lot uh because i really enjoy playing the game and i'm, I'm invested in supporting this game to develop uh, and i want to be good you know I'm, I'm doing fairly well i'm ranked 404th uh, i haven't done my battles today so would likely get higher and um, we've got the other way of earning so what i've done is is i've put down here we have the, uh, the scroll pulls that you can do. So with that HE that you've got, you can make the decision whether to use the scrolls you've earned over the week, which you should probably have nine scrolls by the end of the week. Just added an extra two HE there, just for the uh, just for ease of doing this. So you've got, with, with the scroll pull, it's gonna cost you 50 HE, um, and it's gonna cost you one scroll for every one. So if we go to summon portal, now with 450 you would be able to do I, I wish it was 450 he for 10 summons usually they do that to give you that discount and encourage you to save up uh but they've they've not done that um sadly but you so see there's no benefit to hold holding all that and saving it up but if you were to use your he and put it into there you can actually make again more profit depending on what characters you get again i've gone with the low ball figures but at common, the lowest you're going to be able to sell it for is 25. Okay, that's 49% rarity. It's going to come out of when you pause when you, uh, when you do a summons. 50% will come out as rare. So 100 at the a very low ball figure, as I mentioned before, could be upwards of 300, 400 he. And there's that 1% chance that you could pull an epic. I already have pulled an epic, and I managed to sell it on the market for 850. Um. So I actually made a huge bunch of HE back that I'd spent on purchasing those those slots that I showed you for uh, the Union Blessing because these cost a fair bit. They cost increasing amounts every time you you, you buy more. Um, so 70. So I actually paid for all those, just that one. So you can make your money back, but as you can see, now I'm at two, three, four, five, it, it went up to 3,000 after that. But mine's been coming down because there is another route to uh, making some money as well and it's it's 
not as highly, um, it's not as effective as some of the other ways I would say, but you could win big because you have the option as you go through the dungeon, stores are really good for um, for picking up some, some fairly good deals. We've got 25 HE here for two epic shards. So I would need 30 of them. At 25, um, at 25 HE for each fragment, I would have to buy 30. So 25 times 30 equals 750 HE. Um, now, then you gotta think about, well, what can I sell an Epic for? Because if I did that and, and bought this every single time, eventually it would take a long time to build up 60, um, 60 Epic Shards. But if you were to do it, then you go to advance first, and then you would go to the store and then buy it. I once accidentally pressed abandon, it hurt. Um, but once you've bought all those, you will obviously just like the other shards, you can go to your bag and you can see how many you've got. 28 I've already built up. So you can save up those epic shards and this has taken me only a week to get 28, which is pretty good. So in two weeks time, you can probably get 30 if that's only if you were, have a very good squad though, because you're gonna have to need, you need a good squad to be able to take down those dungeons and, and get every single access to one. And, and it's randomized, so you don't always get the same amount. One run I got five, one another run I got two in one go. Um, so it's 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 a bit of a little bit of RNG there. Twenty eight. So once I've formed that, I can obviously get a guaranteed epic hero, and then I can sell that on the market. Now at its lowest price, if I was to pull a Farah, I would only be able to sell that for five hundred and eighty he, which would put me at a loss. But that's you know that's one character. The next one up is Lorky, which would get seven hundred at the lowest. So a fifty. HE loss, which I don't think is too little, too 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 much of a risk when I think, okay, well, what if I pull something that's really valuable? What if I pull an epic mech? And what if that mech is a human? And what if it is Vi? I'm going to get 890. What if I pull a ranger? And that ranger is not Mrs. Hazard, Jita. 1,190, so you would be making 440 HE profit. And so I think the risk reward ratio, I think it's pretty, it's definitely worth it. Um, trying to earn those shards. But that is all the ways that you can earn in this game. And you know, you might be playing it just for fun. And at that point, I think I don't focus too much on how much you're spending, but well, maybe a little bit because it's it's quite. It could you can spend a lot on this game, um, but think about these characters. They're going to be this is one week, and think about these characters. You know, you're going to constantly they're going to get to a max level at some point, which you're going to struggle to level beyond. And at that point, you're not going to be spending as much HE, and therefore you're going to be you're going to be accruing more. So all in all, how much can you earn? 448 HE, that's $295 at the current price of 66 cents. If you were to just complete your daily quest, complete your battle wins and complete your weekly quests and do a rare fragment hero and sell it for a very low price of 100, uh, you would get $295. If you were to then to invest that 450 into scroll summons, you would get another very low ball figure, but 525 HE, which would be $346. Over the course of 11 weeks, you'll have nine scroll pulls each week. That would be 99 pulls. So eventually, you're probably gonna get an epic in one of those. So one week, you might get an epic pull as well as those rare and commons and pull 1,200 HE if you sell off that epic character. And that will give you $792. And that's pretty good. It's pretty good returns if you're just playing that. And you got to think there'll be people who are playing this and reinvesting into new stuff for the character, reinvesting in new characters, reinvesting into um, buying those slots that I talked about, resetting the heroes, so burning the progress and putting HE into new heroes. There's going to be 
a lot of ways that we can spend it in the future that, you know, the, in future updates that they'll bring out, people might set up more clans, which costs HE. Uh, there may be new game modes that come available. And all of that is going to be good for the economy. I think this game has a lot of replayability, a lot of, you know, rewarding you for little things that you do on a daily basis. And, you know, it's quite satisfying that it's got the PvP, PvE already in place, where a lot of games just started with automatic and PvE and no PvP. So um, I think, it, I, I, you know, my target price for HE, I think $1 is definitely realistic in the next couple of uh, next couple of weeks. It could be, you know, we, we got there really far recently, 0.88 cents um, at at that little run that it did there. Now, if it does something like, you know, if it does something like Bcoin, you know, we could see that the price of this just keeps going and keeps going. I, I, this baffles me, I'm, I'm wrong call on this one. I, I was like, this is gonna eventually start to fade off, right? The rewards are too big. Um, but now it keeps going and keeps going. And, you know, HE is very early. It's probably, HE is probably about here, um, which is, you know, around there. If we see a similar run up, then you're talking 7.811 times the amount of HE that we've got on down here. And then you're talking thousands and thousands of dollars. So this may attract new people and new players, which adds value to the coin and rewards you more heavily. And that's why I'm invested in it. And maybe we'll see returns like that. Maybe not, but even if we don't, I've enjoyed playing the game so far and we'll continue to play in it. Um, but that's a, a hopefully a good in-depth review for you to think, figure out whether you want to invest and how much you can earn if you really want to. Okay, that's all for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. See you guys soon.